Hey everyone, it's June 7th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with serial killer Samuel Little, who may have been America's most prolific killer with 93 murders beginning in 1970. And that is him right up there. Born in Georgia in 1940 to a prostitute while she was incarcerated, Little was raised by his grandmother in Ohio. He often found himself in trouble at school, failing classes and causing disruptions that led to detention and suspension. Little claims that he began to fantasize about strangling women as early as kindergarten, and as a teenager he obsessed over true crime stories, collecting magazines with stories where women had been choked. Don't worry, I do not collect magazines, I just make TikTok videos. He was first convicted of a crime at the age of 16 for breaking and entering in Omaha, Nebraska, after which he drifted across the country taking work where he could find it. In the 60s, he moved to Florida to be, to be with his mother, working as a grave digger and ambulance attendant. When he tired of Florida, he returned to drifting, committing offenses everywhere he went, picking up arrests for shoplifting, DUI, fraud, armed robbery, and sexual assault, among others. He had several stints behind bars for his various crimes, being arrested 26 times in 11 states before 1975. But his crimes were even worse than what anyone knew, since he'd begun murdering women in 1970. He was first accused of murder in 1982, when authorities in Mississippi fingered him as the killer of a 22-year-old woman, but a grand jury failed to return an indictment. During that process, he was extradited to Florida, where he faced charges of murdering a 26-year-old woman. But inconsistencies in eyewitness testimony led to an acquittal, and Little moved to San Diego in 1984. He was arrested that year for beating and attempting to kill two women a month apart, serving two and a half years in prison after being convicted. When released, he moved to Los Angeles at a time when multiple serial killers were active in the area, but he managed to rack up at least 10 kills on, an, uh, on his own. Little was arrested and served time for other offenses in multiple states through the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, but never was caught for the killing he was doing during this period. It wasn't until his arrest at a homeless shelter in Kentucky in 2012 that DNA evidence finally linked him to three murders in Los Angeles from the late 80s. Upon being extradited, the investigation kicked in, and he was linked to dozens of murders in the 80s in multiple states. He was convicted in 2014 of the three murders he was initially charged with, and the FBI was working on figuring out just how many women he had killed. In 2018, he broke down and confessed to 93 separate murders, with authorities able to conclusively tie him to 60 of them dating back to 1970. He had a memory that allowed him to recall exactly what his victims looked like, where he met them, and where he left their bodies, but was bad with dates and often was off by as much as 10 years. It's hard to keep track of all your murders when you're approaching 100 of them. Videos of his interviews are available through the FBI's YouTube channel, and they ask for your help in identifying some of the last unknown victims. Little spent his time in prison drawing portraits of his victims from memory, which were also used to help the FBI link him to unsolved crimes. Suffering from diabetes and heart issues, he died in December of 2020 as the most prolific serial killer in American history. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone's birthday it is today, send them this video. And to Samuel Little, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.